It is really exciting, and it's especially exciting for the young woman standing next to me. Kimberly, and tell me I'm pronouncing your last name correctly, Anadeke? Anadeke. Anadeke. Yes. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. You are about to make history. If we can do this and do this successfully, you will be the youngest African American woman to make a transatlantic flight, just 15 years of age. What possessed you to do this? Well, I've always loved flying. I mean, well, I love flying, and it's just so cool. And the Tuskegee Airmen left behind such a great legacy, and to do something for them and to do something for me as well, I think it's so cool. Yes, we, we met Levi Thornhill, one of the Tuskegee Airmen, who's actually going to be accompanying you. When, when you learned about them and their history and th those brave men and what they accomplished, that was part of the inspiration for you to do this? Definitely, because everything that they did, it's just so amazing because when someone's constantly telling you no, when someone's constantly telling you that you're stupid, that you don't have the cognitive development to be able to do something so great, and then you go out and prove them wrong, it's just like, wow, you know? Now, let's take a look at the, at the plane that you're going to be flying. We'll step out of the way here, Tommy. I'll let you go ahead and zoom in there. Uh, this, this is the, the aircraft that you will be flying. This is uh, a single engine. Right? Yes. Single engine plane, and it's going to be three of you in there. Mm -hmm. uh, you, a safety pilot, and Mr. Thornhill. And first stop in, into Arizona. And then along the way, you're going to be meeting Tuskegee Airmen. Yeah, and we're going to be having them sign the plane. That'll be terrific. When you uh, look at the history of not only the Tuskegee Airmen, you also have a history of aviation in your family. Tell us about that. Um, last year, on March 15th, on my sister's birthday, she set a world record by flying four single-engine fixed-wing aircraft on the same day. That's impressive. So you have a lot to live up to. I know. You excited? Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I'm going to have you go over there so we can get a picture of you and your plane. Go ahead and open it up for us, if you will, there, Kimberly. It's it's tiny in there. I mean, it's a good thing you're small because there's not a lot of room in there. So this is where Kimberly is going to take off from, from Compton Airport this morning. It is going to be nose up at 7 a.m. Kimberly is about to make history. Kimberly, give us a wave. I'm Robert Kavasic live this morning in Compton today.